But Lil Kelpie, Kelpie, yeah, Lil, Lil Kelpie. Kelpie, Kelpie, you know we gonna Kelpie, get on Kelpie, all that. Hey Church, do me a favor and take that jacket off. The hood? You gotta yeah, take yeah, that take jacket that off, off, bro. Oh, no, I, I don't you got to take that off. No, nah, so what? Off. Take that shit off, I'm, homie. That, that's a fraud, though. But you're not gonna wear that, bro. No if you wanna do this, no, I'm not talking about that. But you gotta take that off, though, bro. We'll see if you get Before we can talk, yeah. If you can put it back on or what it is, take it off, bro. Be a real one. No, be a real one. Take that off. Some greatness for real. I'm being for real, bro. <laughs> niggas better. Niggas really know, it. nigga. I'm I on tracks, boy. Fuck out of here, nigga. I ain't never nigga. seen no bitches. Who are you? I'm little Kelpie. Who Kelpie, are you? Kelpie no one the knows pimp. you. Kelpie the motherfucker. Kelpie pimp. the clown. Fuck you ain't gotta here. know who I am, fuck bro. Fuck out of here. Fucking Ben Franklin knows who I am, bitch. Fuck out of here. No. He knows who the who? fuck I am. I'm you getting money what? every day. I said you Ben said Franklin knows who the fuck I am, bitch. Who you calling a bitch though? I'm calling you a bitch. Don't call me no bitch. You crazy. You crazy. I was in here chilling. Call me no bitch. We was all trying to be in here. What's wrong with you, nigga? What's wrong with bro? There you go. Oh, 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 so I go into this one like, oh, well, the dude's still disrespecting me. So I'm going to do the same shit right back to him. And then I got spit on and then smacked up. But I called him a bitch and that still stands. I still think he's a bitch. But it's real simple as to what happened. You know what I'm saying? I got beat. I said something that got me beat. You know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't really that hard to uh, to decipher or read between the lines on that because there really is nothing. It. It's something you could take at face value. Like, it is exactly what it looked like. It was evident. So Adam was fucking with me. And then when Suspect seen that, he hated it. So he went back to that same energy he had with Sharp. You know what I'm saying? Where he's just cheerleading, calling me out for my appearance, calling me Caillou, calling me a clown, saying nobody knows me. I actually relaxed. And I have a mic in front of me. So you swung on me. You know what I'm saying? You didn't ask to fade when I called you a bitch. You didn't take it outside. None of that shit. Because I would have been down for that. You know what I'm saying? So... Yeah, I got my ass beat. Do I think it was a fair fight? Nah. Do I think I would have rocked him? If we had gone outside, probably not, but I would have gotten more punches in. And it would have been more entertaining for sure because during the interview, bro, that was, I mean, it was goofy. Y'all seen it. Like, yeah, I got my ass beat. Yeah, I was asking for it by calling him a bitch, but he is a bitch. Like, I've been in so many fights. I got my ass whooped. I whooped so many asses that at the end of the day, you know, it's just another fight. It don't matter who it's with. It don't matter if you win or lose. It's a fight. You know what I'm saying? If you're going to want to fight somebody, if you're going to throw those fighting words around with somebody, you got to anticipate the consequences of that. And one of those consequences could be getting your ass beat. And I knew that when I said it. I got some stuff in the works, though, with no jumper. For sure, we all need to stay tuned with that. I'm cool with Adam 100%. Even though I'm not, I'm not cool with Suspect. You know what I'm saying? I'm cool with Adam. I'm cool with a lot of the other motherfuckers at the... At that work at no jumper and shit like that. Yo, 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 it's Big Ant the Spokesman, man. We back. Another edition of Urban Politicians TV, UPTV. Make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in real quick. And I guess we got to change Lil Kelpie name to Big Kelpie. Dog standing on business, man. He said some of the realest basic stuff that you could apply to your life. You got to be ready to accept the consequences of your actions. For every action, there's a reaction. I'm going to have the links in the description where y'all can check out his full response video and the no jumper clips that led up to this happening and everything like that. But we got to peel back the layers, man. He said, I called the man a bitch. I know what come with that. This is what I'm saying. Hey, I felt like he was pressing me again from the first interview that we did with Sharp and everything. He chilling against me, going against me. I want to disrespect him for some reason. He wanted to do that. He don't rock with almighty suspect like that, the other no jumper host. So he took it there with him. Now, I don't agree with that. I don't think it's smart. And I would advise y'all, a nigga like me, myself, him and anybody else, don't call no man no bitch because niggas be, get put in the grave for shit like that. 
Don't play with that. But he stood on it even in the moment. Bloody face, sitting on the couch. Just took an L, looked up. Said, you still a bitch. Meaning, hey, my nigga, I don't give a damn. And hey, as a man, I don't agree with it. I don't like it. But I can't tell you how to move if you willing to deal with what come with that. At the end of the day, from what I done seen, he was ready to deal with it. Now, almighty suspect, you got your reasons. I can't tell another nigga how to react to something. But a nigga got to look past that type of shit, man. We men, bro. I don't like the disrespect and everything. I would look at this little white boy just keeping all the way down. And shout out Big Kelpie. I fuck with you, Big Kelpie. But my nigga, you, he little, bro. I'm not even finna, I'm gonna feel like a bully if I take off on little homie like that. I'm just gonna tell him, hey, little bro, chill out with that bitch word, my nigga. We doing content and everything. But park yourself, my nigga. Because I don't get no points for beating your little ass out here. I'm gonna look like a bully. That's just my personal opinion. That's what I tell that little nigga. Calm your little ass down, my nigga. Get your shit together and talk like you got some respect. We both men right here. Little dog fresh out of high school. He say he gonna capitalize off his moment. Now, the whole situation, the interview being set up is an opportunity for failure and to go left. But we in a place where everybody's concerned with views, going viral, so nobody has a standard for respect anymore. It's like, hey, let me book these two dudes, put them on the room, at the, put them in a the room together, knowing that they have tension, the first interview had a problem and everything. Ain't nothing to build on off of this. You know you booking it for the bullshit. So this is what can happen. You have to be ready for the consequences of that also. Adam 22 was not. You on camera finna run your ass off the screen when shit get real. Kelpie stood on business. He was ready for his shit. Adam 22 was not. Adam 22, even after it was over, you wasn't over there helping him or nothing like that. And I feel like, hey, me giving a real honest opinion, this is your platform, you the owner. You can be over there, hey, bro, come on, bro, you good, you good, make so dog straight. You got the fuck out the way, like, whatever. Nah, that ain't how that's supposed to go, and I'm just calling it all the way down the middle. And then, and all in all, overall, bro, Kelpie say he trying to get out the streets. He say he in the streets, say he getting his money doing his stuff, getting his, 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 he, he participating in his money getting activities, whatever those are. He say he finna try to get this legal internet money. At the end of the day, I can look at him however I want to look at him. He's saying some real shit that niggas can apply to their life. No matter if he really doing this or not, go get you some legal money, my nigga. It's some niggas that these lifestyles of being a P, trap or street nigga, they choose you. You go through walks of life and you, you know, everybody got a journey. Everybody got a path to take. But if you can find your way to transition to some legal paper, go get it. I think we all can learn a lesson with this right here. Sometimes the environment gets out of control. It has happened to me before doing different types of content and everything like that. But hey, we all learn from it. We move on. Let's stay safe. Ain't no reason to be out here fighting and squabbling. But hey, it is what it is. It didn't happen now. Tell me what y'all think. We got more shit coming, more videos, all that. But shit show 1000. Stay on your pivot. More coming.